today let's see what are uh, conditional operators first of all uh, conditional operators basically help the programmer in performing simple conditional operations so simple conditions so that is what is done by conditional operators so conditional operators conditional operators help the programmer in evaluating simple conditional operations or simple conditions right now the symbol that is used for representing this uh, conditional operators is a question mark and a colon right now simple conditions like this one uh, x greater than y right now when i say x greater than y the answer for this can be either a true or a false right so there are only two uh, results that are pass possible true or false so depending on whether it is true or false a suitable action is taken right there are three expressions in this e1 is the first uh, like if if we put the syntax the syntax is like this expression 1 question mark then you have expression 2 colon and then expression 3 like this right so e1 e2 and e3 are expressions now if if i want to write like supposing i have two numbers let's say uh, x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 20 now if i want to write something like this uh, if the value of x is greater than y then the result should be let's say this is the result so if i if i write x greater than y right x greater than y this is your e1 this is the first expression after the first expression you give a question mark now what is the result of this first expression in this case x and y right 10 greater than 20 is false so there are two things here e2 and e3 even i have already written e2 and e3 is there e2 comes when the result is true and after the colon you have e3 that is the false condition right so supposing i say if x is greater than y in that case we write 20 else 40 right and this i want to put in a variable called result right so i write something like this result is equal to this is the variable result right so x greater than y if x is greater than y then result will get the value 20 because this is the this is the true part and if it is not then this one is the false right so in our case this res will get the value 40 fine right? so that is how it works basically if e1 is uh, true then it comes to e2 right this is the true condition right if e1 is false then it comes to e3 this is the false condition right remember that now we can write the conditional operators like this um like whatever is the result like here i have written same way it can be like this int y is equal to right if you have a variable called age let's say age greater than 50 right and then you give the question mark and then if age is uh, greater than 50 you want this you want to store the value 1 to y if it is not greater than 50 in that case you want to store the value 0 so this statement it means if age is greater than 50 that is if this condition is true in that case the value 1 gets stored inside y otherwise the value gets 0 stored inside 
y. We can also have uh, <coughs> conditional expressions like this. Rs is equal to x, uh, supposing I give the same thing, x greater than y, right? And if x is greater than y, supposing you already have a variable which is y, then you say y plus 5, else y minus 5, something like this. This is a valid, uh, where is, one minute, I have put a semicolon here, it's colon basically. y plus 5 and then you have a colon and then y minus 5, right. We can... Uh, Put a uh, equal to equal to operator also here. A is equal to equal to 9. This is the condition, right? Then I say sum AVG into 3, right? Else sum divided by 3, something like this, right? So these kind of uh, things you can have. And we can give a normal statement like this also, like uh, if I say age, supposing, uh, see in these um, statements, in these two statements, whatever is the result of this expression, depending on that, this particular value is getting stored into this variable, res, same way here, right, okay. Now, the syntax that I have shown you here, e1, e2, e3, this doesn't have any variable in the beginning, these are only three expressions like this, right. Now, supposing uh, you have something like this, age greater than 30, right? Now, here I say, I don't want to store uh, any value to a variable or something like that. Now, here age greater than 30, I just write this, C out, OK, right? And then I give a colon, C out, sorry. Now, this statement... This is the condition, age greater than 30. If age is greater than 30, it will print OK. If it is not greater than 30, in that case it will print, sorry, this will be printed on the screen. So the value doesn't get saved anywhere. Whereas in this case, the value is getting, whatever value you are giving here, that is getting stored into a variable which can be used later, right? This... Uh, Conditional operator is also called as the ternary operator, right? Conditional operators are also called as ternary operators. Now, suppose I'll, I'll show you one example here. Let's uh, say write a program. which uh, takes marks as input from the user and accordingly gives the grade to student, right? The condition is if marks is uh, greater than 75, let's say it is grade A, right? Uh, otherwise, otherwise it is grade B, right? So here you see, I'll have this. Uh, we have to take a character variable called grade like this, right? Then the marks, int marks. Now here I say C out. Enter the marks and uh, now you exit the marks that goes into this variable. Now here I am going to make use of this uh, conditional operator. I write grade is equal to, fine, marks greater than 75. If marks is greater than 75, 
then what is it grade should be equal to a so here i have to this is a character variable so we have to write like this now so this a goes into grade else this b will go into grade right after that here here we write c out the marks obtained by the student is first of all we show the marks see out again the grade and the grade is something like this right okay grade so this is a small program where we have used uh, this uh, conditional operator instead of an integer variable here i have taken a character variable return 0 this is the program right so here we have taken a character variable basically so this is one variable i have taken this is another variable for marks so here this is basically your grade right and this is marks so the user is asked to input the marks the user inputs the marks let's say as 80 right in that case now when we come to this statement this one right this is the condition marks greater than 75 yes marks is greater than 75 so this is the true part this a goes into this variable which is grade fine after that it is printed if marks had been uh, instead of this if the marks had been something like 60 then here it would have been b right so this is how the conditional operators work and for performing small uh, uh, conditions evaluating small conditions we can use these conditional operators with that i come to the end of this session bye